Welcome to my informatics class project PowerPoint presentation. My name is Jennifer Carolyn. I am a registered nurse certified in hospice and palliative care. The objectives of this presentation are by the end of this presentation, the participant will be able to describe the importance of voice recognition software in healthcare informatics, discuss voice recognition software and its impact on the healthcare industry, recognize the need for voice recognition software use in nursing documentation, explain the process for implementing voice recognition software in the nursing profession, and discuss how voice recognition software will be impacted by changes in future technology and public policy. Throughout this course, we have learned in the assigned chapters in the textbook and some of the topics in the modules, how some healthcare workers are resistant to the introduction of new technology in the workplace. Voice recognition technology is not new to healthcare, as Moiter et al. reports. It was utilized back in the early 1980s for dictation of radiology reports, but it has not yet been established in the nursing field for assistance with required nursing documentation. I chose this topic to research how it has been effective in other healthcare environments to see what challenges have been since its implementation and what changes can be made to the technology so it can be useful in the nursing profession. Dragon, the most recognized voice recognition software, has developed programs for healthcare professions called Dragon Medical One. In 2020, the Department of Veterans Affairs implemented Dragon Medical One into its telehealth services, allowing doctors to better document patient care in person and remotely. Healthcare has had advancements in technology over the past few decades, and it is changing at an even faster pace due to increased demand, Joseph et al. Information is more shareable and accessible, and the consumer wants more accessibility to their own information. There is relative to the nurse, this is relative to the nursing profession as well. Our priorities are our patients, but we're also aware documentation is essential because as somebody once said, if you didn't document it, you didn't do it. Documentation, especially with the requirements for CMS and Medicare, can be lengthy and extensive, which takes nurses away from time with their patients. Voice recognition technology, available as a wearable device, can allow the nurse to document care and interventions in real time at point of care. Healthcare is an industry that requires keeping up with technology. With daily advancements and changes to the technology we use, the ultimate goals of the changes are to make it easier for the end user and to improve time management. Milne Ives et al. 2020. Nursing is one of the largest, most respected professions, especially since its undeniable recognition during the COVID pandemic. Nursing and their patients will benefit from voice recognition software because of the positive outcomes for both. More time at the bedside, which can lead to more patient satisfaction. The research for voice recognition software found controversial agents first emerged in the 19 conversational agents, excuse me, first emerged in the 1960s, but the amount of information that could be received and interpreted had its limitations. Milne Ives, 2020. Over the decades, many software companies have developed newer and more advanced voice recognition software, and Nuance Dragon has become the most utilized voice recognition software in the world. Maritha et al. reports, with the aging population and increases in diseases, the need for nurses is vital, and by improving the efficiency and pr productivity of nurses, more approaches to reduce the workload are needed. Voice recognition software 
is an introduction into nursing that will improve time management, accuracy, and productivity. Joseph et al. 2020. The conclusions drawn from the research in the articles is that voice recognition software has had many attempts of use in many different medical specialties and venue, but the full potential of the technology has not yet been explored. Joseph et al. 2020. Also, like other computer entry documentation, when the entries are rushed, mistakes are made. The same holds true for voice recognition software. Voice recognition software requires the speaker to speak slowly with precise diction. This is where the software has required improvements over the years due to users having different dialects and accents. The software must be able to recognize the intended words spoken in conjunction with pronunciations. Maritha et al. 2019. Introducing any artificial intelligence technology system into a company's applications has its risk due to protection of sensitive information and being able to trust that the new technology will not share or misuse the data. Milne Ives et al. 2020. There is also a risk of misinterpretation of information when in the healthcare industry, it could mean life or death. The misinterpretation of even one number, for instance, when a doctor is dictating medication orders and gives an insulin dose, that number, if overestimated or underestimated, could mean life or death for the patient who is prescribed the dose. Milne Ives et al. 2020. The introduction for any new technology in the healthcare field, including voice recognition software, takes planning. Hebda et al. 2018. Once the technology is approved for funding by the chief financial officer, a project manager is selected to work with the IT department and the informatics nurse to construct the technology with the software company so it is specific to the organization's needs. The informatics nurse collaborates with members of the nursing staff to develop specifics they will require from the software so it will lessen their documentation time. Hebda et al. 2018. Those involved in the implementation of the voice recognition software are the software development, developers, the project manager, the IT department, the informatics nurse or nurses, staff nurses, nurse managers, and the chief of nursing. It will be the task of the informatics nurse to ensure all nurses are properly trained, even if it requires one-on-one -on -one training, Hebda et al. 2018. All nursing staff will be required to attend in-class training, which includes skills training with the voice recognition software during a practice documentation session. The training would also be part of the nursing orientation for new employees. The ongoing training consists of yearly e-learning by all nursing staff. The informatics nurse is available for one-on-one -on -one training as needed. Evaluation of the new software is done by evaluating the overtime use by nurses compared to the former documentation by computer, interviewing the nursing staff to assess their likes and dislikes of the system, and reviewing the patient satisfaction surveys. Hebda et al. 2018. There is a significant cost for voice recognition software, but compared to computer documentation, which requires the nurse to take time away from the patient to sit at the computer to document, barring nothing happens with his or her patients like a code, procedure, or test, it will in turn save the organization money because the nurse will be able to voice document at point of care with the patient, which will decrease overtime costs and increase nursing satisfaction, avoiding burnout and having to hire new nurses. The organization is financially responsible for the implementation of the software, but they will find it financially beneficial due to the time-saving qualities and nursing satisfaction. Change isn't always good. 
but healthcare facilities can make this change for their nursing making this change for their nursing staff conveys appreciation and respect for the profession that keeps the organization afloat and positively mentioned in patient surveys. It is difficult to predict the efficacy of voice recognition software in the future because there is no way to properly foresee the advancements of technology. Voice recognition software, like all healthcare informatics, will have to adhere to changes in public policy so it can continue to be trusted to keep patient information safe. What we can assume is to keep nurses from burning out and to maintain nursing as one of the most respected professions in the nation, technology will only advance to improve nursing and job satisfactions, satisfaction for nurses. Joseph et al. 2020. The healthcare industry can move only so far into the future before it needs to halt to avoid total personal dismemberment. People need people. The voice recognition software may become a thing of the past, but the nurses will always be a means for patient interaction and satisfaction. And with that need, technology may invent easier ways for nurses to succeed in their true goal of one-on-one -on -one patient care. Maritha et al. 2019. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation.